Hello everyone, my name is Antonio Oliveira. I'm speaking from Southern California from my recording studio, which is, as you guys can see, my Model 3. I love this car. In this video, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about Brazil, which is where I'm originally from. With a population of 210 million people, Brazil ranked number seven in 2016 in the list of top polluted countries in the world, with almost 2.3 billion tons of CO2 equivalent emissions. Transportation accounts for about 15% of the CO2 emissions in Brazil, and when it comes to vehicles, the use of ethanol as fuel is very popular, which is great. Get this, more than half of Brazil's entire 100 million vehicle fleet can run on either ethanol or gasoline, or both. You choose the fuel each time you stop at the pump. Isn't that cool? But even clean ethanol can compare to electric, right? Well, let's see some not-so-impressive numbers now. Out of the 101 million vehicles circulating in Brazil today, only 436 fall into the fully electric category. And yes, you heard that correctly, 436 electric cars in a sea of over 100 million vehicles. You see, up until now, automakers just haven't sold EVs in Brazil, but Brazilians want electric cars. As a workaround, some people convert their ICE cars into electric ones, and others end up importing EVs through third-party companies. The good news is that all that is about to start changing. Several automakers have committed to start selling their EVs in Brazil starting in 2019. Unfortunately, Tesla is not one of them, yet. I think and hope that time is quickly approaching for Tesla to expand to new markets, including Brazil and other Latin American countries. Who knows, maybe as soon as 2020, people in Brazil will have the chance to experience Tesla and just like I did, fall in love with it. Folks, from now you know, thanks for everything you guys do. Keep up the great work. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care.